So for today's project, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a love necklace with tassel. So the materials that we need is a piece of wire. So here I use electrical wire, which I get from a local hardware store. But you can use silver or copper wire if that's what you prefer or if that's what you have at hand. And pliers, cutter crochet thread for the tassel and um, my screwdriver which I use in making loops because I don't have around nose pliers so first I'm going to make a loop And then, so we're going to create an L. So, here, watch closely. I'm going to do it as slowly as I can so you can catch up. So, there. There. So that's L. And then I have here my screwdriver to shape my O. There. So there's O. Then we're going to make V. Then there. There. Then get my my um, screwdriver you can use pen or anything that is long and has a rounded body like this you can use that I'm sure you can find something like that in case you don't have a, sc a screwdriver like mine and then there we're going to create V there So that's our V and then we're going to create um, E okay there and then we're going to create an E so here shape it like so there There, and then cut the excess wire, create a loop again, there. So now we will proceed making the tassel. So in making the tassel, we need a crochet thread. So wait, I'm going to get my scissor. So we're, we're just going to cut um, a short, going to cut it short since our love charm is not 
so big so you don't like having it a large tassel there because it's not going to look good so there so maybe cut at least 10 pieces So here I have your 10 pieces of thread now so the so we need another piece of wire which my leftover from the love charm that we make that I just make so there There and then, so there. So we're just going to wrap it. there and then so the remaining wire there we're going to twist them so get that excess and then just make a spiral And then we may cut the bottom of your tassel because it's too long. So So you can add chains here and also here or if you don't have a chain you can use a cord or a thin ribbon or you can use your um, silver necklace just like this one so just make sure the loop is big enough for your necklace so there So here's the finished look. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please visit and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.